and welcome back or welcome if you are new here. It's that time again. It's almost June. It's time for another bullet journal setup. This is probably maybe the last one in my current journal. I get about six months per journal, but I still have a lot of room in this one, so who knows? <laughs> we'll see. As you could probably tell from the title of this video, I am doing a pride theme for June. June is pride month. And I've never done a rainbow theme, I've never done a pride theme, so I'm very excited about this. Jumping right in, I had this idea to do a bubble cursive uh, rainbow gradient uh, for the title of the month. And honestly, thinking about it like a, a year ago this time, I would not have had the technical skills or confidence to even attempt this, but it's not perfect, but I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. Um, you'll see the colors come together in a minute. I am also once again changing up my monthly layout. I'm trying to find something that works in this strange quarantine time and not quite getting it right, but learning every month. Um, I'm using something similar to the uh, ideal weekly schedule that I attempted in April uh, that didn't really work out at all and was not helpful at all. I'm putting together a quarantine schedule. So this is what my week looks like typically. All the things that I know ahead of time are happening every day in the week. Like I'm working remote and my spouse has work at certain times that are very regular so I can keep those there and then in this little box on the left hand side is any other events that get scheduled like birthdays and Father's Day that sort of thing. I'm completely giving up on the habit trackers for this month. I tried it for a couple months and it really was not really was not helpful for me. I wasn't filling them out. I'm still not filling them out. So the only thing that I am tracking is um, whether or not I have taken my pills each day. And here we're getting into that rainbow gradient that I was talking about. I did something like this in um, a setup for my spouse in a previous month. My spouse also has a bullet journal and I help him with his setups, but I don't film those. So I knew that I was probably capable of doing it. But, like I said, I was nervous about it, and I'm actually really happy with how it turned out, even though it did actually bleed through onto the sheet behind it, which is a little bit disappointing, but not something that is going to like ruin the experience for me. Like I said, I've never done a rainbow theme, so this is very vibrant and sort of outside my comfort zone, but I really like the idea of getting a whole lot of really like punchy color in my bullet journal. Very motivating, very summery, very fun. And this is my first time doing a pride theme. Um, I am not a member of the LGBTQIA community, but I am an ally. So I wanted to do something for Pride that was from that perspective, trying to be respectful of that community and what this, what this month means for, for folks in that community. Um, so I, I stuck mostly with rainbows and I'm not sure what I may do for my weeklies if I want to incorporate any pride flags or any iconography. Um, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, the one thing that I did do here, as you can see, is uh, thicken up the black outline for the bubble cursive. I thought it really helped define it and give it a little bit more dimension. And when I was playing with it afterwards, I did a little bit of a white highlight with my gel pen, but that's not in this video, so don't even worry about it. I think it looks pretty great, if I do say so myself. <laughs> so like I said, I've got seven boxes here where I can put in like the hours that I'm working, the hours and days that my spouse will be working, and keep track of anything that's very um, regular there. And I knew that I wanted to include a, a quote or a statement. I ended up going with a statement. I couldn't find a direct quote. I didn't feel comfortable using a quote about 
Pride Month or like from someone in the LGBTQIA plus community. Um, so I went with the idea of allyship and what it means to be an ally. And the, the phrase that I put together that is drawn from something I saw online doing research about how to be a good ally is, you and your identity matter and I will do everything I can to protect you. I've shied away from doing pride-oriented themes because I'm not a member of that community. And I really wanted to approach this, like I said, from the perspective of being an ally and not trying to claim a membership to a community that I'm not a part of, that I just care deeply about and want to support. And moving on, this left side is going to be my gratitude tracker. I did not leave myself any room for a heading on here, but that's fine. I know what it's for. Um, it's just 30 little three by eight boxes that I'm gonna write a word or a short sentence or statement for whatever it is that I am grateful for. I'm still not perfect at writing down something I'm grateful for every day, but I'm making progress. I'm doing my best, and I do think that it's really helpful. There's a lot of research behind the um, benefits to your mental health of actively being grateful, and it's, you know, that's something that's important to me uh, to improve my own mental health, so it's something I'm committed to keeping up with. And then on the right side of the spread is my mood tracker. I drew out a bunch of little flags. And then I have a set of three colors for each mood. Um, none of the sets of colors represent an actual pride flag. They're just um, colors in the rainbow. I, I wanted to be sure not to do an actual pride flag accidentally in one of them. And I think I've avoided that, hopefully. And as you might be able to tell, I actually goofed and only drew out 25. I don't know how I did that. After I filmed, I went back and when I was numbering, figured out that there weren't enough flags, so I added in another row at the top there. And I also wanted to throw in a little bit more color on this page, so I added a drop shadow and the rainbow, and you can see I messed up a little bit there. That pause was me realizing, oh no, what have I done? But it's fine. It's fine. It worked out fine. It looks good. I am a fan. And the very last thing that I added, which you'll see in a moment, is using a very, very light gray, the same light gray Tombow that I used to highlight Saturday and Sunday on my calendar on the first spread. Um, I just added numbers to the boxes. And I guess that's going out of order because what you're seeing on the screen is setting up the colors for the mood tracker, which the first one is orange or red, red, orange, orange. Next one is yellow, green, green, blue, green, blue. I know how to say colors. And the last one is purple, magenta, question mark, and pink. Um, I wanted just, you know, some fun things. And I like the idea of doing sets of colors instead of one straight color for each mood, just in keeping with the vibrant rainbow aesthetic that I was going for. I was really, really going outside my comfort zone with this one. Can you tell? Um, moving on, this spread is a summer bucket list, similar to my spring quarantine bucket list. This is just a list of things that I can do that will make me happy. Um, this is actually something that I was working on in therapy, which is a little preview for something I'm going to talk about more in depth in a later video. I have no idea when that will be. Stay tuned. That very vague teaser. Anyway, <laughs> I wanted to do the same sort of rainbow gradient inside bubble cursive, but first setting up the memory keeping page where I will paste in pictures of my kid from the month. I wanted to once again try the markers on plastic technique that I've seen other people do. I'm still I'm still working on it. It's still not perfect. I, I didn't have enough water. I tried to use a paper towel, as you can see, to dampen the paper and it didn't really do much. It looks neat, but 
I'm still, I'm still working on the technique. <laughs> and here, here we go. Here you can see the rainbow gradient once again. And it's still, it, it still bled through on the other side, which I think you will see when we get to the flip through. It's fine. I was able to clean it up with some whiteout, so it's not gonna bother me through the entire month, but I guess it is just a lesson in what the limits of the paper in this particular notebook is. By the way, in case you have missed it and have not read the description, the notebook I'm using is the Scrivewell dotted notebook. Um, I have thus far been really impressed with the paper in this. I, this is the first time that I am using it. I started it at the beginning of the year and I absolutely love it. Not sponsored at all, just, you know, I always like hearing about, hi child, hello. <laughs> I always like hearing about uh, brands of notebooks for bullet journaling. I'm always looking for the best notebooks or like, yeah, whatever. Um, so I wanted to make a note of that. But as always, all of the supplies that I've used are listed in the description below. None of those are affiliate links because I am a little tiny baby YouTuber. And that's totally cool. Once again, thickening up the outline to make it pop a little more. It's, this is so fun. I'm so proud of myself that I was able to do this. Um, and this right here is my reading goals for June. I am not going to participate in any specific readathons. I did do a little bit of research to try and find something um, LGBTQIA plus oriented for the month, but I didn't find a read along that I particularly felt drawn to. So instead, what I'm going to be doing is this um, pride oriented bingo card. So it's sort of a game and frees me up to read a little bit more variety. My kid needs my attention one moment. And we're back. Hello. Ah, uh, parent. But <laughs> anyway, what was I saying? So for this page, because I just did a little printout of something, um, which I will link in the description below where I found the bingo card, I wanted to do a just simple border in straight rainbow colors, the same blending technique that I've been doing, which is basically just sort of blending the colors together as, as best I can. It's not really complicated or, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it other than you just sort of blend the colors together. And that's why I've got so many colors instead of just straight seven, even though it, it should be six, but that's, that's fine, whatever, that's fine. <laughs> Like I was saying, uh, this is this is what I decided to, to do, and I'm probably almost certainly not going to film a TBR video. Instead, I'm going to be concentrating on all of the books on my currently reading list and my TBR that are um, LGBTQIA plus oriented in some way, whether that's the content of the books themselves or the authors, um, some, some lovely folks who I may want to support. There's a lot of options, honestly. I don't know what I'm gonna get to, what I'm gonna have access to because I'm so dependent on my library, but we'll see how it goes. And I'm looking forward to, uh, crap. Yep, that, that happened, that happened. <laughs> I'm looking forward to a slightly more relaxed month in terms of reading. And the last finishing touch that I decided to add was a little bit of this new washi tape that I got. It's, uh, I got one black and one white, just very plain grid washi tape, and I absolutely love them. It's just something about grid washi tape that I absolutely adore. I don't know what it is. And that's it. Here is the final flip through. The only thing I'm missing is a section for my goals for the month. I may have to add that in somewhere. I haven't made up my mind about it yet, but that's all that I've got. I hope you have enjoyed. Uh, let me know down in the comments what theme you are planning to do for June, and if you are a fellow booktuber, what books you are maybe thinking to read in June. I don't know. Whatever you want to say in the comments is totally cool. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you are well, that your life is progressing at a, at a positive rate, and I yeah, that's, that's all I've got. 
to say. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for some more videos this week since I missed a couple of weeks and I will talk to you all later. <laughs>